So here we have a 1969 TR6. The engine has been converted to running on electronic fuel injection. Um, it uses Gen V Heritage throttle bodies, which uh, are intentionally designed to look like Weber DCOE carbs. But inside each body, there are two injectors, so a total of six, one per cylinder. Um, also within the throttle bodies, there is a throttle position sensor within the center um, throttle body. Um, and there is also uh, an idle air control valve fitted here. Um, that feeds um, idle air, additional air input to each injector, to each throttle body um, at startup. Uh, so reflecting uh, the old fashioned choke, but all electronic and controlled by the ECU. Um, the ECU also receives uh, air temperature input from this sensor. It receives uh, water temperature input from this sensor. Um, and there's a three bar lap sensor that also has been fitted, um, which is plumbed into the vacuum line, as you can see here. Um, as I mentioned, the car is a 1969 model, so therefore it comes with the original 1969 steering wheel, uh, which is a very rare item. Um, the original uh, dashboard switch gear is in place, however the dash has been recovered uh, in, in a nice walnut. Um, the uh, dimmer switch has been replaced by a clock, which is a popular conversion. Uh, and the radio uh, aperture also contains additional gauges, so we have a Smith's oil temperature gauge, um, we have a fuel pressure gauge, a stack one, uh, and we have an air to fuel ratio gauge on the left hand side. Um, for audio purposes, I simply stream audio to a Bluetooth speaker sat on the dashboard. I find that very effective. Um, the wheels um, are seven inch, gen, 15 by 7 inch genuine mini lights um, in black. I think they complement the red very nicely. Um, we have black California mirrors. These actually work. Um, the seats uh, are Mazda MX-5, but they've been re-trimmed in leather in a TR6 style. Um, so you get the, uh, the horizontal fluting. Um, set off with uh, red seat belts just to lift the interior up a little bit. Um, the hard top, uh, uh, this was purchased separately from the car. Um, so again, because it's a 69 model, um, when I refurbished the hard top, I re-trimmed it in the black inside rather than the, the more common white. Um, moving around the back of the car, you'll see the bumpers have been replaced um, by revving, um, sorry, by race durations and um, towel rail bumpers. Um, I think these just lift the look of the car really. Uh, Round Britain Reliability Run sticker there. The, this car did take plate part in the October 2021 run, um, which we completed successfully within the time allowed. Right around to this side, um, as you can see, distributor list, um, electronic ignition controlled by the ECU. Um, a General Motors V6 coil pack. Um, provides the spark out to the uh, spark plugs and it does that via magnet core 8 mil leads. Uh, what I was going to say, the car has uh, an aluminium uh, radiator, has a, uh, an electronic cooling fan, the, uh, the manual fan having been removed. Um, as you can see there is an oil cooler, well you, you can see the hoses, the oil cooler is tucked down way down there in front of the radiator um, with a standard takeoff coming off the, uh, the adapter. That's it. Any questions on the car, um, please feel free to contact me. Uh, I will just drop the bonnet so that we can see the front view. The bonnet still has the safety catch, which is becoming quite unusual. And here we have the front of the car. You'll see that I have replaced the, uh, the indicators and side lights with clear units. Um, I will be supplying uh, the standard uh, coloured ones with the car as well. Um, I've also put matching side indicator repeaters. Uh, again, I will be supplying the car with, with coloured ones so they can be refitted if required. Thanks for watching.